Class Fit Sugar. My name is Danielle Gray, and today we're doing a 30 minute HIIT workout, full body with focus on your core. I got Pam. Hey guys. And Michaela. Hey team, follow me for modifications. Ready to work out with you. So grab your mat and let's go. Let's get it. Let's get right into this warm up. So we're gonna start with reverse lunges with a knee circle. So take your time here. It's okay if you do three in this amount of time. You're trying to get that back knee about an inch above the floor and then a big knee circle up and around, working on that balance. If you're like, what is happening? Why is this so hard? <laughs> That's normal. That's why it's the warm up. We're practicing here. Your bottom foot should be like doing all that, you know? <laughs> it should be feeling really wriggly and uh, stabilizing, but that's good. Other side, let's switch. What if it's really hard to balance? If it's really hard to balance, put your arms out to the side. They don't have to be on your hips. It can help you a little bit. Okay. And your shoulders, if they go like not parallel to the floor, it's gonna be a lot harder to balance as well. So keep your shoulders level with the ground. You'll notice it's a lot easier that way. Also pick a spot and focus on that spot. Don't look around, because as you can see, as I'm looking around to you guys, I'm starting to get all over the place. All right, we're gonna go into the world's greatest stretch next. So go to the edge of your mat. We're gonna walk it out. Follow Michaela for a modification. Try to keep your legs straight as possible. And then bring your right leg to the outside of your mat. Right hand lifts, twist into that right leg. I don't think this is the world's greatest stretch, but you know, how, how you feel is really what matters. Walk your hands back in. Do you guys think it's the world's greatest? It's Other one side. of my favorites. It is? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're gonna do a left side now. Walk it out. Left hand to the outside. Lift the left arm, twist and reach. Come back down and walk it in. Beautiful. Now we're gonna stand up. Pam, you're gonna follow me three steps to the side and then a little baby squat jump. Can I just go up on my toes instead? You can go up on your toes if you don't feel like jumping today. I definitely have those days where I do not feel like jumping, so you can absolutely do an extension. And if you just wanna walk side to side, like Michaela, totally can. All right, next thing. We're gonna do some push pulses or push backs, okay? So knees bent, chest tall, flat back, pressing. Now, if this starts to burn a lot, you can just do some push backs, all right? So you can just bend and straighten. Otherwise, your arms are locked out straight. We wanna get your triceps squeezing, we wanna get your posture tall. Try to keep your thumbs close together. It should burn. It should feel really irritating, like tiny high-pitched voices inside your muscles going yes. Yeah? Okay, beautiful. Shake it out. Now, how this workout is gonna work, <laughs> not intended, we're gonna do two halves. So each part of the one and the two is going to be a little bit different. So follow my lead. If you get burnt out, then you can absolutely modify. I know all of us are gonna modify in some way at some time. We got about 10 seconds until we're getting started into it. So grab water, grab a towel if you need, and get ready. And you're gonna meet me in a plank, in an elbow plank, okay? Down on the floor, we're gonna start with leg lifts. In three, two, and one. Now, lift that heel up, keep your legs super straight because if you guys don't know, I have a gymnastics background and we don't really bend our legs unless it's absolutely intentional. So squeeze your legs super straight if you can. All right, that's your ultimate goal. Modify if you need, take your time, breathe. Tuck your tailbone under. We don't wanna have any mountain butts here, yeah? Okay. It's a new one. <laughs> All right, yeah, mountain butts. This, okay? Now let's go into a side plank. So just tilt just a little bit into a half side plank. If you wanna do a full one, feel free, you can. We're gonna do both sides in just a second here. So reach through, lift up. If you need to just hold it, you can, but try to keep your hips flat, squeeze your bottom, switch to the other side. Whew, nice. Here, reach through, keep the hips tall, don't sink into the shoulder or the hip. Then what we're gonna do next is squat jump. So we're gonna stand up in three, two, and one. Beautiful, all right. So we are here, we're gonna squat and jump. Squat and jump. Now, if you are not feeling like jumping today, you can do bodyweight squats. That is for my tough mental health days. This is where I'm feeling a little bit more, but I still don't feel like jumping. <laughs> but it's a little more energy. Good, for three, for two, for one. Now, we're gonna go onto our backs. All right, we're gonna do single leg V-ups. Now, 
These single leg V-ups are a prep for regular V-ups if you've heard about them or if you've seen people do them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have both legs straight. You're gonna grab behind your leg, your knee, your calf or your ankle if you're flexible enough. You're gonna lift up and try and squeeze together. Ready? Three, two, one. Lift and control down. A lot of times it is pretty tricky to find that balance. If you're not able to get super high, play around with like lifting the legs a little bit faster. If you're just going to hollow, hold, hold, hollow rock, hollow hold, uh, then make sure you're only using just a couple of fingers to help behind your knees. Beautiful. We're gonna do the other side in the next set. Next, we're going into tricep push-ups. So catch your breath. We're gonna get a little break here as we go into form. So who loves push-ups? Me. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> so <laughs> love-hate relationship with them. So what you're gonna do for these push-ups, they're not like a regular push-up. They're very, very focused on your triceps. So you're gonna pull your elbows in. I call them like iceberg push-ups because we all know what happened to a ship one time when it scraped against an iceberg. So we're gonna try and squeeze right here as we do our push-ups. So on your knees, tailbone under, and let's begin. Now, if you're not able to rep out that many push-ups right now, then all you gotta do is focus on going really slow with control, like Michaela is, on the way down. If you land on the way down on your stomach and you're not able to get back up, just reset, because as you work negatives, you're going to be building the strength in the same motion, in those same muscles, and eventually you will get stronger. Good, rest, catch your breath. We're gonna go into the second set of all that, but everything's gonna be a little bit different, and I'm gonna give you a little more rest, which I hope you enjoy. So you'll keep that water and that towel nearby. We're gonna go into plank lateral taps now. Um, again, feel free to modify, because this is the second set, you're already fatigued. On your elbows, ready, begin. You're gonna step out with your right foot and back in, and then your left. If you need to take it to your knees, you can. If you want to give your wrists a break, stay on your elbows, or if you wanna challenge yourself a little more, you can go up to your hands to build some wrist strength. Now, a lot of times, our wrists end up hurting because they're getting like atrophied because we're not, we're not building the muscles in the wrists. So I do recommend putting some weight on your hands from time to time. Rest in three. In two, in one, good. Catch your breath, all right? Next one is gonna be oblique crunches. So we're gonna be on our backs. You're gonna drop your knees to the right, okay? You're gonna have your hands behind your head. Now make sure you're not pulling on your neck. You want your elbows to stay out to the side and pick a spot on the ceiling that you're gonna look at the whole time. You're gonna lift your chin towards that spot, lift straight up versus crunching to your stomach, all right? Begin, lift up, feel it burn. We really want to feel this in the lower left side of our abs. So my legs don't move. Your legs don't move. If this is really hard on your spine, then you can put like a yoga block or a foam roller underneath your knees for, for rest. But we're trying to really target that left side. Good, other side, switch legs, or sit, switch sides. <laughs> Keep those knees as together as possible. And if you guys can hear, Michaela's breathing on the, on the lift that she's exhaling, which is really good to help you engage your abs and contract a lot more. I can't do that because I'm talking. That would be really <laughs> weird rest. Great for you. <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go back up to our feet and we're gonna do squat jumps with a pulse at the bottom. So you're gonna squat, squat, you're gonna bounce, bounce, and then jump. If you wanna take that into an extension, like Pam is, you can. If you wanna stay with a regular just squat, you can do that as well. Let's get into it in three, in two, in one. Pulse, pulse, and jump, good. We want to keep our chest up here. If you are using your arms in front, try to keep the elbows up, because if they're down and your back ends up rounding, you could end up hurting your low back. So really think sitting up really tall with that posture. You're almost there, we're gonna go down to our backs in a second, let it burn, squeeze the legs as straight as you can up top. Imagine I'm taking a picture at the top of your jump. It is actually the most flattering. Go ahead and rest. <laughs> it's not nice to take a picture of someone when they're on the way down, if you know what I mean, right? Okay, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go to our backs. We're gonna do single leg V-ups now on the left side. 
So your legs are straight, <clears throat> they're split. Grab behind the leg, really try to squeeze the leg as straight as possible. Point your toes because gymnastics, all right? <laughs> Keep your, your back nice and strong. This is for your core. In three, in two, in one. Lift up, try to lift as high as you can. You wanna basically get your chest close to your legs so that eventually you can do full V-ups. But this is a nice little, it's a progression, but it's also a modification of a full V-up. Again, exhaling on the lift up will help you to contract. You've got 10 more seconds. Stay with it. Keep those arms bent. It can help you pull your leg towards you. If it is straight, it's actually gonna be harder because it's farther away from you. In three, two, and one. Rest. Breathe. Good. Guess what? Flip over, back into push-ups. <laughs> Groan. <laughs> so we're gonna do the tricep iceberg push-ups again. Now, I don't wanna see any of this, okay? Your neck wants to be in line with your spine. Tuck that tailbone under like you're a scared dog. Grab the floor with your fingers, spread out the fingers so you have a good solid platform. And then bring those elbows right by your sides. Begin, lower down, press it up. Good, and this, remember, is for time. So you are going at your own pace. Continue to grab that floor like you're grabbing a handful of sand at the beach. Now, if you're doing this and the weather is really cold outside or it's really hot and you don't wanna go outside, just imagine the perfect day where you are really just sitting there feeling the sand between your fingers. I'm trying to distract you <laughs> from doing push-ups. You got three, you got two, you got one, rest. You're welcome or I'm sorry. Now, we're gonna go into our second set. Was that kind of like a nice little, see it's beachy, Wonderful flow. Yeah, I'm it feeling distracted it. I'm you. There. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's hard like to come back from that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this second set, you are officially in the second half of today's workout. I am proud of you. Here is a sticker, a trophy. You know what? Maybe the trophy's for the end. That's maybe gonna a be cookie. maybe a cookie, yeah. mid, a mid-workout snack. <laughs> I think that's gonna you know, get that energy back. We're gonna go into some hollow rocks, some oblique stuff, some more push-up stuff, but they're gonna be different exercises than we just did but now you're already warmed up, you know what to expect. And then the second part of the second set is gonna be a little bit different and then we'll stretch and cool down, stretchy time, yay. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All right, wonderful. Let's get into these hollow rocks on your back, okay? You're going to uh, have your arms out in front of you. Your arms are straight, give me energy through the fingertips. If you're modifying, you're gonna put two fingers behind your legs and you're gonna hold. If that's too easy, then just straighten your arms and hold. All right, ready? Begin. You want to stay on your, like the middle to lower part of your back. I don't want your upper back touching the floor here. You're trying to also keep your knees, there's some hair, hi friend. You're gonna try to keep your knees at 90 degree angle. So I don't wanna see your knees making the movement happen. It's coming from your core. If you're like, okay, I'm done, then just go into a hold. <laughs> We're almost there, five more seconds, stay with it. Round your shoulders, round like a boat at the bottom and rest. Woo! Yeah, you guys don't know how I'm talking through this, but you know, it's, it's good times. We're gonna go into tuck jackknives. So you're gonna lie on your left side and you're gonna have your right, your legs out to the right, okay? Coordination, yeah. So from here, you're gonna be on your elbows, elbow, singular. You're going to have your hand behind your body. And then as you bring your knees into your chest, you're gonna press your arm straight. All right, and then extend back out and go flat. Begin. So go at your own pace here. Really trying to get into the tiniest ball possible. So roll back a little bit, pull the knees in, and then extend out here. If you're modifying, stay with oblique crunches, yeah? You can also try to just hold a side tuck up here. You can just stay here, squeezing in a tiny, tiny ball, and extend. Remember, we're really working on contraction. Get as tight as you can and then extend. The next set, we'll do the other side. Rest. Whew, wonderful. How are we feeling? Yeah. That was tough. Good. <laughs> Your ablets should be like, okay. <laughs> We're gonna- like Ablets? Yes. <laughs> I call them each individual ablet. That's I like that. That's ablets cute. and doodles. No, yeah, it's a me <laughs> thing, you know. Like now you're gonna start calling them ablets because they're little ablets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do plank push-ups now. You're gonna be on your knees. If you want to level up and go to your feet, you can. 
You're gonna slide down, okay, to your elbow. Slide the other hand down, then come back up. Put your hand exactly where your elbow was and put your elbow exactly where that hand was. Squeeze your knees together. If you're on your feet, they can be apart. But if you're on your knees, really work on squeezing your heels together. If you're in a narrow hallway, all right? You are not rocking side to side. You're pushing straight up. You should be shaking. I'm kind of shaking a little bit, okay? <laughs> and rest. If you need to go into child's pose, stretch it out. Ooh, you can, yeah, it's good, it's good times, it's good times. All right, so next thing, it's a little bit of coordination, so you can follow me as best as possible, or you can modify. I know you, some people have knee issues, you gotta listen to your body, so do what you can. But we're gonna be doing alternating reverse lunges with a skip, so watch me first. You're gonna do reverse lunge, skip, place it down, switch legs, skip. Place it down, switch legs. If you just need to reverse lunge, you can, or do a little squat with a lift, okay? Ready, begin. Here, up, and switch. This is just the higher intensity, but trust me, if you're doing just regular lunges or a little lift, it can still feel high intensity, all right? Don't get me wrong, your heart rate's still gonna be up. Anytime you do a lunge, anytime you do legs, because the muscles are so big, they take a lot of energy to create movement. One more, finish strong. Whew, catch your breath. You're doing great. Superman slow flutters. I'm giving you guys a lot of coordination today. Is your, this is like yeah, body. Yeah, you keep saying this is gonna require coordination, but they all do. <laughs> <laughs> body and mind, all right? Let's take it down to the mat. All right, so we're gonna be on our stomachs here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our opposite arm and our opposite leg up and then bring it down, lift the other side, up and down, okay? Go ahead and begin. If you're modifying, just lift up and down or lift your legs only or lift your arms only. Figure out what's right for you. You're still gonna be working the same muscles, so get creative here and figure out what works. Lift as high as you can, try to reach the arms behind the ear. Imagine there's an ice cream cone or a cookie, right? There's a cookie up, so reach that arm, grab it. <laughs> and three. In two, and one, rest. Guess what? Guess what? Do we make it? Guess what? No. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> We've got one more half of this second circuit. So we're gonna do all of that again, but just with a little bit different, or the other side, right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into those hollow rocks, but I'm gonna show you a way to make it a little bit trickier, okay? So you're on your back. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh. <laughs> you can make it easier if you need to. So you're back on your back. You can continue here like what we did with the first set, or you can try to have both legs straight. Begin, all right? So you're reaching your arms in front, you're holding, you're keeping either your legs bent, your legs straight, or you're trying what I'm doing for as long as you can, then you're like, okay, I'm good. And then you can go back and modify. I do that a lot of the time. So feel what you can do, keep that back round. None of this, that is not accurate. Okay, so round the back. If your form is off, modify and rest. Whoo! I used to do those for a minute in <laughs> gymnastics. I don't, I am no, I-O-E-N-O, -E okay? So now, <laughs> you guys ever heard that, I-O-E-N-O. Other side, now your right elbow is down. Your legs are out to the left side. We're doing uh, the jackknives to the left side now, but your knees are gonna be bent or you're gonna do your oblique, oblique crunches again, okay? Ready, in three, in two, in one. Lift up and reach. Remember, we're reaching behind the legs. Reach back, tiny, tiny ball. Think knees to chin, all right? I don't care how many you do or how fast you go. A lot of times with the way that I train, it's form focused. I want you to do them right. And honestly, going slower is a lot harder than just repping things out because you have to have control. You're working a lot more muscles when you go slow because you have to stabilize. Now these arms are confusing me. Like, yes, right, go slow. So roll back, bring it in, press the arms straight, and then extend and lower down. Good, relax. <laughs> honestly, that coordination is tough. If you need to go back and do it again, not gonna hurt you. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into those plank push-ups. Um, if you want to add a shoulder tap, you can. I'm just giving you different ways to kind of level it up, stay with me, or modify, because then you have so many options 
that everybody can do this workout. All right, so on your knees and hands or feet, okay, you're gonna do elbow, elbow, up, up. If you wanna tap, tap. It's just gonna work your core a little bit more because your number one goal with this is to not rock side to side. So that's why I really want you to grab, if you are looking like this, then I want you to modify. There's nothing wrong with modifying because that's what is the foundation to help you get better, okay? Go ahead and rest. Nice work. All right, we're gonna go back up to the feet with the fun little coordination skippy doodle. <laughs> and you're gonna figure out what is gonna be best for you today because honestly, sometimes I'm like a today me and sometimes I don't know who this is. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is where we're at and we did it, okay? But you need to accomplish something today. So do whatever you can to get work done. Here we go. And begin, step it back and skip if you want. I am not making this harder, <laughs> okay? If you want to, you can add a tuck jump, but mm, I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> Good. And if you're still like, how is she switching legs? Go slow, play me somehow in slow-mo, <laughs> or just really work with me and copy my movements. You've got three, you got two, you've got one, and finish. Nice. Yeah, that was like kind of, I'm not finished, but yeah, with that. Okay, now the final exercise before stretchy time. That was so dramatic. I feel like I needed the spotlight in that moment. So we're gonna go, <laughs> I cracked myself up. We're gonna go on our stomachs, okay? But instead of doing the slow flutters, we're gonna do fast flutters now. So it's gonna be almost like you're in a pool making splashes and the lifeguard's gonna come save you. So you are here, you're gonna lift up opposite arm, opposite leg, and switch, and switch, and switch, switch, switch. If you wanna modify these, you can just do regular lifts. You can do slow, you can do just the arms, you can do just the legs, but it's up to you. Now I need you to make sure that your legs are straight. If your toes touch the floor, then if your legs are straight, your knees won't be touching. Huh. If your knees are touching, that means they're bending, okay? <laughs> so squeeze your bottom. Yeah, you're like, wait, uh-oh, they're touching. <laughs> and relax. <sighs> Exhale. We survived. Now we're going into stretchy time, okay? The best time, in my opinion. So push back into a child's pose since we're already here. Make an L with your index finger and your thumbs. Press your forehead into the mat if you want. Really drop the belly between the legs so you can open your knees. Breathe and release. Now you're going to walk your hands over to the right side. As you're doing this, reach your left middle finger towards that diagonal wall. Then with your left hip, try to pull it back towards your heel. You'll feel a, a longer lengthening stretch through the left side of your back, maybe down through your hip. You really pull that hip away, but don't let your left middle finger slide. Walk everything to the left side, and your right middle finger is gonna reach far. Really wiggle it out. Pull the right hip back down towards that right heel, towards the floor, and really grab the floor. Feel that stretch through the shoulder, the lat, the back. I am trembling. <laughs> I love this stretch. Yes, it's so great. And I kind of discovered that like when you do that C, it's a little extra, a little extra juicy and fantabulous. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go into a puppy pose, a cat stretch, whatever animal you identify with. You're gonna drop, <laughs> drop your chest down, get your bottom super high. We're gonna stretch our shoulders here. If you need a little extra, you can go up onto your fingertips and then get your armpits towards the ground. Look in between your hands if you can. Put the chin down. It's gonna get a little extra in the upper back. Beautiful. Now to get our lats and triceps, you're gonna put your elbows down and close together. Get your palms in prayer. Press your palms apart so only your fingertips are touching. And then bring the thumbs towards your back. And you should feel this stretch through your shoulders, through your lats, through your triceps. But if your hands are in prayer, you might not feel it as much. You gotta press your palms apart so only the fingertips are touching. You can rock your shoulders side to side to feel it a little bit deeper. Breathe and then slowly straighten the arms. 
come out of that. Now we're gonna do a quad stretch and you're going to bring your right leg in front, tuck your left toe under. If it's hard for you to stay on your knees like this, you can go up to a stand and take all of the same cues and you'll feel it in the same spot, all right? So you're gonna press down through your back foot. Tuck your hips under as much as you can, like your tail is tucking in between your legs. Then squeeze your back glute as hard as you can. Flex your abs to make your bottom ribs kiss. Bring your chin to your chest and then slowly rock forward and back. This one, it's okay if your knee goes past your toe. We're focusing on opening the quad and the hip flexor here. Good. Now, with the same arm of the leg that's down and back, bring it up overhead and you can reach to the side. So reach over, just keep squeezing the butt. Ooh, keep, yeah. That feels <laughs> impossible. <laughs> really intense. Keep tucking the tailbone under, keep pushing down through the back foot, release everything on the other side. So now you're gonna tuck the other toe underneath, tuck your hips under, squeeze that back glute. It should immediately go into your quad. Then you can bring the chin to the chest and then rock forward and back. Make sure you're not rotating out. Keep your hips square. That hip should be facing straight ahead like your hips have headlights. Bring the arm of the leg that is down up and slightly lean over, pressing the hip the opposite direction. So you're lengthening your body. Beautiful, breathe, release, and come out of that one. Awesome, take a seat on here. You guys are gonna start having little birdie flying around your head. She's like, oh, lovely. All right, cross a leg over for a figure four. If this is way too intense, you can do this sitting down in a chair. You can also do it with a straight leg, all right? But from here, you're gonna flex the foot to protect the knee joint, rock side to side. And sometimes, like I don't feel too much when I go towards my bent leg, but when I go away from my bent leg, my hips are so tight that this is a glorious stretch. So you can stay here, give it some attention if you feel some resistance, otherwise switch sides. And when you do this and you really focus on how your body feels, you can notice some asymmetry. So is one side tighter than the other for you guys? Yeah, that's normal. But you know what is interesting is the smaller the gap or the smaller the difference between flexibility on each side, the less likely you are to have injury, right? If one side is like super flexible and other side's not, and if you expect to do the same thing on the other side, bad things happen. All right, now we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. So go back up on your knee. You can do this standing as well, or if you, you can put like a pillow or a towel or fold up your mat. You're going to bring one leg out in front of you, flex the toes, keep the leg straight, most important. Push your hips back, you should feel it immediately. You do not need to hinge forward at all. If you really, really tilt your, tips, your hips forward and then push your hips. It should be hard hips. to balance. <laughs> it should be very hard to balance. Like I'm, I'm kind of here. You can hold on to something nearby if you need to. Put your hand on your leg if you can, or if you're able to reach the floor or yoga blocks, you can do that too. Now, if you want a little extra spiciness, if you like it hot, bring the big toe closer to the ground and keep your pinky toe away from the ground. Everything should start shaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, squeeze that leg super tight, back is flat. I don't want any of this, okay? So open that chest, other side. Switcheroo, other leg. Dig that heel down, lift the toes up, leg is straight. Push the hips back like you're making a hand sandwich with your hips. I feel it right here, okay? And I have my, my splits, but I'm right here having a nerve party, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're breathing, keeping your back flat. If you want that hot sauce, bring that big toe in towards the floor, keeping the leg straight, keeping the back flat, pushing the hips back as far as you can. Yeah, special. <laughs> and release, okay. <sighs> Final thing, especially for you runners, it's the bottom of the foot stretch. So you can do one foot at a time, or you can do both at the same time. Tuck your toes under behind you, squeeze your heels together. If you need to put a blanket, a towel, a pillow underneath here you can, or underneath your knees. You're gonna take a seat on your heels. Do not let your heels come apart. You can use your hands for assistance. Now, ideally, you should be able to sit here for two minutes. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to you today, but maybe when you're folding laundry, you're watching TV, you're playing with kids, whatever, try to sit here. This is really gonna help you because when you, we run, we walk, the only thing that touches the ground are our feet. So if we don't take care of our feet, 
it's gonna go all the way up the chain, cause hip, back, knee problems, right? I don't want those. <laughs> so let's work on it. This is this one is super important for you to do. And if you are doing one at a time, then now is your time to switch. Go to the other side, <laughs> so you balance it out. But really take your time. You can give some movement here and feel if there are any differences, if there's intensity, lean forward and back. But it is a wonderful, great stretch. <sighs> All right, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Go ahead and stand up. Let's give you that trophy. Let's give you the trophy. Cookie. Magnificent. And yeah. a cookie. Oh, look inside the trophy. There's a cookie <laughs> inside the trophy. <laughs> I want to thank you and Pam and Michaela so much for joining me. My name is Danielle Gray. You guys have fun? I have fun. Yeah. Did you did also not have fun? No, because I love push-ups and core, so, you know, we moments, killed it. I'm not gonna moments. Lie. But <laughs> as long as I know it's all good for me of hatred, <laughs> then I did my job. My name is Danielle Gray, and I want to thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you liked it, what you didn't like, what you want more of, and I will see you next time at Class Fit Sugar. Bye.